Yo, she's wrapping okay, the logo. Okay, this is crazy. How is she wrapping the logo on the car? You think no it's way. It stopped. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the EVS vlog. Oh, where is it? Well, EVS vlog. My name is Haywood, AKA Renaissance Man. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Join the EVS crew. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, rate, share, comment, all that good stuff. You know what to do. Yo, the weather was so good, like yesterday. And now it's just hot, just hot. Let's just go back inside, you know? Let's just see what's going on in the back, because it's just hot out here. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's looking mad empty without the cars in here again. Guys, ooh, guys, I forgot to tell you this. I have a new car that we're gonna bring in the showroom. I'm really excited about this one. Check it out. All right, guys, bring it out. What do you think, guys? <laughs> guys, look, it even drifts. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. This makes me miss my- Oh, 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 sh- Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sean, what do you think of a new shop car? <sighs> um, I think it definitely needs wheels, like, pronto. Definitely needs a chrome delete. Like, that's hideous. Yo, can you wrap that? We can wrap anything here. Chrome delete continues on the Tesla Model S. So as you guys saw, the fog light strips are done. The nose cone surrounds is done. Fender badges are done. The mirrors are looking great. So a lot of people don't realize this, but the mirrors are the one of the hardest, if not the hardest spot to do because there's a moving part and there's pieces down here and everything. It's complicated, but it's looking good. We got the window trims done as well. And of course the door handles that you saw before, not just the face, but the top as well. And right now Shaw's working the back trim. So let's take a look and see how that's going. It's going pretty good. People out there that know vinyl wraps, this is very tedious, cutting this type of stuff out and doing stuff like oh, this. Oh, because you're doing the letters, right? Yeah. Got to cut them out because it's going to come through so you can't keep the vinyl in there. And you got to make sure that there's not too much vinyl on the edges so for when it comes through it doesn't kill the vinyl up. Very tedious. Where's, uh, where's Raul? Then I do not know. He's the type of guy that like when, he, when he's upset he just kind of walks out, huh? I really don't know. You got a wild one on your hands. Ooh, this looks good. Guys, check this out. Mercedes-Benz AMG GT63. Guys, this is freaking cool yo look at that grill look how mean that looks it's like classy but it's it's still aggressive big got yeah, big vents on the side right big openings and then you get the vertical chrome slits in the middle just kind of keep it classy let's go look at the interior we're about to tint the car so don't mind the table just you know protecting it but look at the carbon fiber guys oh you know me you know how i like my carbon fiber alcantara inserts with yellow stitching oh god look at that Oh, that screen just reaches all the way from the middle to the driver's side. You have carbon fiber everywhere. Carbon fiber in the middle of the center console, carbon fiber running along the whole dash. You have this big screen that connects all the way to the driver's side. You have yellow stitching on the seats as well. It just looks amazing. This is this might be kind of crazy, but I love the new AC vents from Mercedes. They just swivel so smoothly. I love the sound it makes too. Check it out, check it out. It sounds like a lock in a high security vault. Got it. I don't understand why this car has black window trims, black mirror caps, but the door handles are chrome. Why do they do that? I mean, even the exhaust tips are black. Look at how it lights up. The yellow stitching though, is just, oh. It is nice. So as you guys can already see, we're taking this car sizing back with Sarah Lux, and after that, we're going to be clear bra the entire car. That's right. So the film that frosted the Model X that you saw, the white one that we had in the showroom, we're putting that exact same film on this paint. And this is cool, guys. This is gray, right? It's a dark metallic gray. I'm curious to see how that film's gonna look on this. It should look really cool once it's like this satin matte translucent sheen. So I'll show you how that looks, but that's gonna be a several day project. And last but not least, as you can see, we're starting to get ready to tune this car as well. So we're gonna bump up the horsepower gains, go a little. <laughs> 
cool. So we got done with the back trim and the front little V trim. So looking good. Satin black looking really good. The letters are cut out so then they can take the letters that go behind it through. Do you remember this model S? Let me show you. Does this look familiar? Yeah, I don't know. Back, as you remember, the front bumper was messed up. It had tape literally right here, holding it up over there. It didn't even have a nose cone, and it had tape on this side as well. Well, we completely changed out the front bumper, as you can see. The front bumper is now the new facelift and Model S front bumper. Before, this is obviously the nose cone Model S, as you can tell by the headlights and like this little area here. It just worked out because otherwise the client would have to have bought a old pre-facelifted bumper, but instead we were able to get him the facelifted bumper, which makes a huge difference. Now the car just looks so much nicer, right? It looks so much newer. We have nothing but Teslas today. Like our lineup is sick. Look at this Tesla after Tesla after Tesla after Tesla. Like yo, I think we're the next service center. Like, we're not on the map yet, but they should put us on there. Doing something a little different today. Normally, I'm vlogging the techs working. Today, I am the tech working. That's right, I am doing a wireless pad tech test charging pad installation on a Model 3. So I figured, you know what? Let's just vlog it. Show, show you how to do it, okay? Why do I do that? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Tap just makes a wireless charger that is perfect for the Model 3. You guys see this pad here? So. This is from Tesla. They allow you to put your phone on here. There's little ports that stick up and you charge your phone there. However, but this is not 2017 anymore, man. We're 2019, almost 2020. It's time to go wireless, right? So we're gonna do that. So pop this up, oh, slide, it, slide it out. And now you have this here. So normally there's cables here that come out. Unplug them, remove this. And voila! We have USB splitters, we have two of them. And I'll show you why in a second. And we have the pad. So this pad is gonna replace the pad I just took out. It's gonna replace that one. This is what the new pad's gonna look like. And you'll notice there's two USB cables that are connected to the back. So what we're gonna do is, yo, this is a lot harder with just one hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna snake these cables into these holes there. And that way they can come out the back and into these USB ports here. I got one in there, this one in here. Shimmy it down. Once you pull it to the back, this should sit right on top of this. Okay, so we got the cables in. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we gotta connect the splitters. And the reason for the splitters is, I think because of the 9.0 update, they changed to where these wireless chargers don't always work sometimes. It may be kind of intermittent, but having a splitter will somehow override that issue. There we go. Now he's gonna connect the second splitter. So, bam. Cool, we're done now. So you'll notice that two of these are not used. That's the reason for that. It's because now that you have two cables plugged into the USB ports, you don't have access to those. So now that you have these, you still retain them as if you did have access to them. Slide this back on and we should be good. If I put it here, boom, it lights up. So we're good to go. And this has two sides too, so we'll test both sides. Boom, and we're good to go. All right, guys. So we have a new segment. I don't know what to, I don't know what to call it. Maybe call it "Rip It or Keep It." We're just testing things out. But anyways, this is Sean. Sean, how long have you been wrapping cars? I've been wrapping cars for about two years now. I'd say. Okay. Cool. Cool. And how long have you and Raul been together? Sean is our wrap technician. I want to do a new segment with him. What I was going to do is I'm going to show him other people's wrap jobs and get his opinion, get his reaction on it, and see what he thinks, and see if. That they're doing it right or they're doing it wrong and if, if he would keep it or if he would rip it off cool cool do, 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 do. rip it or keep it this first one i'm going to show you i don't know if you've seen this but this is this is asian girl she is wrapping cars okay so i'm gonna play it for you All and right. let me know what you think okay okay have you seen this before I think I have seen her. I think I've seen one of her videos before. She looks familiar. She's gone viral, so she wraps things. Like, so like, yeah, she's, she'll wrap anything. That's that's a good thing. She took apart the mirror. Yeah, so it's, did, did it on the car. That's good. So that's, that's like a good thing, right? She that's a that. very good thing. Yeah, look at that. She's using her legs to hold yeah, she it. She looks better than me. She works way faster than me, that's for sure. What do you think of her technique? I think it's actually good. Any red flags that you see? I mean, the only red flag that I could possibly see is that she has to lift up the wrap and re-glass. But besides that, that's the only fault that I can see on this. Her cuts look like they're super straight and they look like they're super precise, so... I really can't say anything about it. What does re-glassing mean? Re-glassing is like when you have to basically, when you lay the vinyl down on the car and you have to really pick it back up. Okay. To place it, you know, and make it look kind of more glass. So she's making it look really easy. No, she's making it look really easy and I can, I can definitely tell, obviously, it's sped up a little bit, but she's, right. she's actually pretty quick 
in general because I remember like watching another video that she did and she was actually really really fast. One thing I can say though is she does only use blade. Yes, I noticed that she doesn't use uh, she knife. She doesn't list. use knife. List. She doesn't use any of that. So. So what's the problem with that then, or what? Should, or like, what well, do you? Well, if if you know, for instance, if she forgets to break one of her blades when she cuts, or she you know she accidentally doesn't know where you know she's cutting, she can accidentally either cut too little, or she can end up cutting the car. Okay, but we're we're just assuming because obviously this is yeah. just a video, so she could be cutting, changing out the blades before. She could be changing out the blades okay. and you know making them super sharp, so that way she doesn't have to put too much pressure. So she's putting vinyl on the wheel. On the wheel. I have done that before. Yo, she's wrapping okay, the logo. Okay, this is crazy. How is she wrapping the logo on the car? Do you think? Do you think no this, way. Is this real? Do you think this is real? It's one hundred percent real, but. She had to pre-stretch it right there. If you saw, because when she threw down the wrap, it kind of just sucked to the yeah. Jaguar time. So she had to pre-stretch that right there. Her work, keep it or rip it? I think it's definitely a keep it. I mean, okay, everything okay. so far has been to keep it. So she lives up to the height. Right she definitely lives up to the height. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Guys, like, rate, comment, share. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. And if you guys want us to work on your car, hit us up. Contact us. Our contact info is in the description down below. Let us know how we can help you. Tell us that you're part of the EVS group. We'll get you taken care of. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.